What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Berlo88 coming at you live and in the flesh. And um, today I wanted to just take a moment to let everyone know that the countdown timer for the uh, you know the nuclear clock is at two minutes to midnight, which means we could all be wiped off the face of this earth soon, very very soon. This is the worst it's been since the Cold War and we've got to do better we've got to use our language better I don't want to hear people using the word are using the Lord's name in vain I don't want to hear people cursing unnecessarily all that good stuff now I know you have the First Amendment right to say whatever you please and that's a whole other thing you know uh, I've noticed people on the far left like to uh, control um, you know, they try to censor things and they try to uh, control speech, which is not okay. Um, we have the freedom of speech. We have the right to bear arms. There are inalienable rights in this country that you cannot take away from us um, that we used to overthrow the British. And yes, we did also overthrow the Native Americans, which was bad because this was their land first. Um, but anyways, um, I don't know, y'all. We've got to do better as a people. Um, we have to be more um, open to understanding each other, to loving each other. And um, this David Schwimmer uh, Skittles commercial that's going to be showing during the Super Bowl or something for one person or something, um, it just reminds me, like, why do we have to wait? A year to connect with each other you know like during the Super Bowl or something why can't we connect with each other throughout the whole entire year you know I mean we do we have our our fourth of July's and stuff like that but there needs to be uh, an overwhelming love for each other just like God loved us um, really um, now God is love and from what I've seen humans are not love and yeah by now you're questioning if I'm an alien right well, I'm not here illegally, if that's what you mean. But, um, anyways. The thing about it is, we have got to be more loving, in general. And life is not just about what happens to you, it's also about what happens through you. You have to uh, be willing to share yourself with others, and to be willing to love anyone, regardless of their socio-economic, whatever, if they're in a crime-ridden place, well, they become what we would call criminals, but honestly, they're just like us. They're just doing the best they can in their situation. So anyways, I just think it's time for a more compassionate world where we just love each other more and are willing to um, be loved. We have to be dependent on others, too. One of the biggest problems, I think... Um, with autonomy and with people deciding to take their own lives and suicide and stuff is we don't realize that we have to be dependent on others. There is dignity in dependence, in depending on others, not in independence. If you just have independence, there's not, in my opinion, as much dignity there because you're relying on yourself. People say death before dishonor. I would say no. I would say that there's no such thing as dishonor. I would say live your life and be happy. Okay, this is Rolo88. Peace out. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I just think that, you know, it's time for peace and love in the world. Um, I was listening to a beautiful gospel song on the radio yesterday, and it said, um, break the chains, open the door. And let him give you freedom. Him being God, you know. So break your chains, open the door, and let him give you freedom. I mean, it's just beautiful. We do have to struggle, and there is a certain amount of irony that there's no joy without the struggle. But it's through our pain that we see joy, and joy does come in the morning. And we can be better, and we can be happy in this life. It's possible. Um, I've been through a lot myself, uh, brother dying, 
military service, other things, college. And it all stacks up and but you know, I'm not complaining about anything. I'm just saying it's a struggle, you know, and you have to be grateful because God was willing to die. He was willing to send his son, Jesus. Well, God didn't die. Jesus died for our sins. And then he rose again. And um, there's just something so beautiful in knowing that we are saved, I guess, you know. But it goes so much deeper than that. We never had to make the sacrifice. It should have been us on that cross because of our sinful ways. And, you know, I mean, we were such an inadequate sort, basically. And we needed that good shepherd to come in and save us because we'd been living in sin for so long after the first Adam failed. Jesus was the second Adam. So, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to have new puppets soon for the show. And... If you're a veteran out there struggling with anything, I feel you. Um, a lot of times it feels like we've been um, forgotten and cast aside. And that's not the case at all. America still loves her veterans. And you know what? Even if that statement, even if that means that I as a veteran still love you veterans, that's good enough. We are the people. The country is just the rock that we live on, honestly. We're the people that make up this country. And whatever we say pretty much goes because it's we the people. It's not we the government. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, be more loving. And veterans, I love you. Um, if you're in a hard place, I feel you. Um, financially, there are things you can do. Operation Homefront, uh, there's a lot of things. Project Odyssey has been very helpful for me. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, get yourself out of your shell and just kind of transition back into that civilian life. It's hard. And for some, they fail and they do end up taking their life. But I'm here to tell you that you have to persevere in confidence that there is a verse in Hebrews specifically about suicide and that you can make it in confidence. I have a covenant with God and with Jesus and with my brother who's also deceased that I'm going to make it through this life to see them. I'm not going to fall short and take my life or do anything like that. And they say that the um, statistically it gets harder for veterans the older they get too. So just hang in there. But also, don't just hang in there. Uh, it's okay to be fruitful and to uh, enjoy your life with your family and stuff. And I just recently read something that said married uh, veterans are actually more likely to commit suicide, I guess, because of the pressures of the marriage and raising kids and a family and a house and stuff like that. And then also doing military service. Can you imagine all that? You have a family, kids, responsibilities, and then you're also protecting the country. Wow, that is amazing. And I commend you, especially, I mean, Army Commendation Medal for anyone who's married and doing that. I mean, but it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have that much responsibility. That's actually going to kill you. Um, so yeah, I would just say, raise your family, be creative. What I've done is I've gone back to my creativity and my art and stuff. And that's really been saving my life uh, therapeutically and everything else. So yeah, and just do whatever you have to, to survive, basically. I've been off my meds for a while now, and I just, you know, the VA stopped refilling my prescriptions, but, you know, it's just important to go through these experiences so you can learn from them, but also take care of me. I'm a veteran, you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't want to sound entitled, but, you know, I do everything that I can to have my own responsibilities and take care of my life, so, anyways, I just thought I would make a video this morning, just try to be a little encouraging, and you know, just raising awareness for a lot of different things. So anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I'll be here forever and ever until death and old age and the ravages of sin uh, finally tear my body apart. So anyways, I love you guys. Uh, and I'll speak with you again very soon, as Boogie2988 would say. Okay, bye.